One day, Thomas was waiting at the junction when a bus came into the yard. Hello, who are you? I'm Bertie, uh, who are you? I'm Thomas, I run this line. So you're Thomas, are you? I remember now. <laughs> you stuck in the snow, didn't you? <laughs> I took your passengers and Terence pulled you out, didn't he? Well, I've come to help you with your passengers today. Help me? I can go faster than you. <laughs> you can't. I can. All right. I'll race you. The drivers agreed. The station master said, Right, are you ready? Go! And they were off. Thomas never could go fast at first, and Bertie drew in front. Thomas was running well. Why don't you go fast? Why don't you go fast? Wait and see. Wait and see. He's a long way ahead. He's a long way ahead. But Thomas didn't mind. He remembered the level crossing. There was Bertie, fuming at the gates while they sailed gaily through. Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye, Bertie! The road left the railway and went through a village so they couldn't see Bertie. They stopped at the station and Thomas called out, Quickly please! Quickly please! Everybody got out quickly and off they went. Come along, come along! And Annie and Clarabelle sang, We're coming for home, we're coming along! Hurry, 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 hurry! For there, straight ahead, was Bertie crossing the bridge over the railway and he was tooting triumphantly on his horn. Oh, bother! But Thomas's driver said, Now steady, Thomas, we'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Oh, bother, there's a station. And as he stopped, he heard something go, Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye, Thomas. You must be very tired. <laughs> Sorry I can't stop her. Uh, we buses have to work, you know. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ta-ra. Oh, dear. We've lost now. But he felt better after a drink. And the signal dropped, showing that the line was clear. Hurrah! We're off! Hurrah! We're off! And as they rumbled over the bridge, they heard a very impatient... Ah, 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 ah. And there was Bertie, waiting at the red traffic lights. Bertie was off with a roar. And soon, he and Thomas were racing side by side up a valley. And now, Thomas reached his full speed. He gained on Bertie till they were running level. Bertie tried hard, but Thomas was too fast. Slowly but surely, he drew ahead till he plunged into a tunnel, leaving Bertie toiling far behind. Thomas was very pleased. I've done it! Yes, I've done it! So were Annie and Clarabelle. We've done it, hooray! We've done it, hooray! And on they went to the last station. The passengers gave Thomas three cheers. When Bertie came in, they gave him three cheers too. Phew! That was well done, Thomas. That was fun. But to beat you over that hill, I should have to grow wings and be an aeroplane. Thomas and Bertie now keep each other very busy. They often talk about their race. But Bertie's passengers don't like being bounced about like peas in a frying pan. And the fat controller has warned Thomas about what happens to engines who race at dangerous speeds. So although, between you and me, they'd like to have another race, I don't think they ever will.